Hello everyone, this is Grace Shop 170 bring you another COH2 replay. This is brought to you by you probably can guess, but you know. One, two, three, all right, I'm gonna say it. It's Rude Man. Thank you, Rude Man, for submitting this replay. In any case, we have Wes, Kit, and Two Tone versus Hoshi, Wookie, 18, and Himrike. Let's double check ranks real quick. Remember, you can submit your own replay. Go to my Gmail or Facebook, submit the copy of your replay, which you can find in the document section of your, or my games, Company for Heroes 2, etc., etc. Replays, pull it up, copy it, submit an email, and I will take a look. In any case, let's say 4v4 on Larch Assault. One of the best worst maps of the game. It's one of the best maps because I love each of the areas. You have this lo it's a long area that's a little urban city. You have the close quarters like castle area. You have kind of like the long engated like I don't want to say just like slug fest of artillery that typically happens here, but that's what it really turns into. More close quarters in this environment, and then a nice densely urban packed city. That's why I like it. Why I dislike it is because there's five victory points. And I don't know who thought that would be a great idea, but oh boy, that eventually led to the... I, I was going to say the evolution of Montaigne's region, but it's actually the de-evolution. It's like, let's take this map and let's just fuck it up worse. And I'm just, I'm very happy they removed that from the map. But AK is double checking the ring, seems about even. We have a lot of MGs going up north, so that should be interesting to close infantry. But if this Soviet player, AK Rude Man, can do it effectively and burn them out, maybe he'll stand a chance. Again, a flamethrower unit by his engineer squad, or pioneers, no, engineer, the goddamn combat engineer, probably would do pretty damn well, but we'll see. We have an MG already trying to suppress the infantry, so I assume for the time Hoshi will hold the north. Let's see, Wookiee went scavenger doctrine, not bad. I kind of like. This is not terrible it's not the best okw especially because they did like they made the false Meager squadron the false Meager one good god damn i complained about that one so much but they actually made it good and i i give them credit for that so i think this may be the the least powerful right now but it's still you get a nice osman for good infantry counter which is kind of something the okw could definitely use and on nice the artillery and infiltration grenades are always nice to have Battle for mid, right now I think the allies will have it, even though Star Pioneers are really good close range. Although down south, looks like no one bothered. So Heimerich is our Heim Heimerich? Sure. It's just gonna be like, hey, can I I, I could just capture this, right? That this is cool? Okay. We have 18 going oh boy, more MGs. Because goddamn we need more MGs. Uh looks like he's gonna try the MG mid. So that could be an issue with the axes right now, just going so many goddamn MGs. But we'll see. If, again, if that's what the Vermuck are going, I'm assuming the OKW are going to bring up the infantry. But right now, nice Molotov Cocktail in the building. Again, kind of going around, hitting multiple directions. And Molotov Cocktail, not as expensive as it once was. Again, only 80 manpower, 10 fuel to get it. So that's not bad. Plus, it throws faster, which, thank you. I, you figure lighting it and throwing it wouldn't take that long. But, oh boy, look at the original animations for that. It took a little bit of time. Of course, MG's moving on up. 18 went the Festing Armor, so again, that's a lot of fortifi fortification. We have Rude Man going Tank Hunter, so that's actually... Oh, wait, what the fuck? Tank Hunters now has the Howitzer in it. Wait, so this is the one they changed? Tank Hunters! People didn't go Tank Hunters? Really? What was there before? I think there was a con Engineer package or something. I guess that is fine, but the Howitzer for countering tanks? Uh, maybe? Maybe to hit them while they're really weak by the base. That's happened to me before. I don't know. Anyway, West Mobile Assault Regiment. Okay, not bad. A lot. I like the commandos deploying from buildings. The mattress is pretty great. And the flamethrower is good for clearing out buildings, which I'm assuming what he's going to try to use it for, even though he has no Royal Engineers to use it. So we'll see in the future. We have a half-track moving in. I'm assuming he's going to support MGs, which are slowly moving up. And oh boy, is all three guarding each other. So I expect a... Oh, well, Vickers Machine Gun, nice job trying to move on up. He has double MG, which will probably push... Wait, what the fuck? Dude, I think you're looking at the wrong way. I think that MG... Oh, man, barely. Barely in that area. I hate to break it to you. There's going to be no enemies in this gorge. Just, I just want to... I know it's... I know it's going to be a hard... What the fuck are you doing with your MGs? You have one MG facing a wall and one in a gorge. I'm just double checking. Are you guys blind? <laughs> It's like they, they need their glasses like, guys, I think the enemy's down here. And he just mistakes it for a bush. And this is where he thinks the pack of Soviets are. Goddamn. Anyway, double MGs finally getting their mark. 
and pushing back a Kid Fisto, which once again, great name. We have the British guy pushing really well up north, because again, he's fighting MGs, mostly. And now the OKW is actually his front line infantry. Nice grenade, gonna be right in that building. Does a little bit of damage. Half track could reinforce though, which could be a big issue and stop the British ad advance, but that doesn't really matter as they really advance pretty damn far. Also, Kit Fisto is bringing up like a swarm of conscripts, like the world has not seen. And it looks like down south, the British player is counterattacking decently well. Unfortunately, there goes the Universal Carrier, but hey, he still took the point. And what the f- what are you guys doing? What is- what is this? Like, hey guys, we'll stop him from advancing. Like, I like the idea of this, like holding him back, but yeah, no. Maybe barbed wire next time, just point it out. Like, that is good. It, that's good for, like, this bridge, so that way you can get around it, and that just suppresses enemies. But, like, for s making it so long, it's just, like, that's just a little weird in my book. Anyway, it looks like the Axis are counterattacking, and with flame half-tracks, they should be able to burn the enemies out. Please tell me you have the flame door coming out. No, you don't. Well, that would have been helpful. What is that? That is a Vickers. All right. Only if you had infantry to grab that Vickers with. Okay, so... Overall, it looks like the Germans are counterattacking with what they have. The, ha the burning half-track thing is helping, but I'll just give it a few seconds for the AT grenades to uh, fire, and that might turn the tide. He's I'm assuming he's not rushing up with Hoorah because he doesn't want to waste the munitions, but that said, that would have probably helped out his MG a little more just, and also made sure that both AT grenades hit it, but that's just me. Armored car moving on up, trying to hit that uh, MG in the building, doing a little bit of damage. Not a ton, but just enough. We have Volk Squad moving in. Right now, the Axes kind of need the stars. But that being said, they're capturing, it looks like, two. So they should be fine. Decommissioning the... Actually, yeah, decommissioning that point for fuel. Or... Yeah, I was thinking that he had the Scavenge Doctrine. But no, just fuel. Up north, we have a big clusterfuck. Lots of Molotov cocktails. All the Molotov cocktails are being thrown in that building. And... Well... I think we can definitively say they got them. I mean, if they're still in the building, God bless them, because I don't think they're going to be in there much longer. At this point, if, there's, if the building catches fire, the building will natively take damage and will burn down, which is a really nice feature. So yeah, it'll just slowly burn itself to death and collapse. So nice job with all those grenades. We have two tone going commando. So once again, he can deploy commandos, but also, wait, what the hell? Oh, okay. Nice uh, nice armor-piercing rounds, and nice job with the loops kind of opening fire on that armored car. It looks like the Germans are slowly getting their, like, foot together. Like, they're finally... They're, and they're, they're finally, like, not collapsing during the race. They're finally, like, getting a good pace. Now the Allies just need to hold on and kind of counterattack against this. Because, oh boy, they have a lot. AT gun, though, stationed pretty damn well. Again, expecting them to come here, but made you open fire on the Lukes. It doesn't seem to know it's being shot for some reason. <laughs> oh my god. Good job. Pathfinding at its best. Man, that half track is probably like, guys, I'm going to save the day. And the Lukes is backing up like, Fritz, Fritz, back up, back up, Fritz. It's like, I can't. Why can't you? Hans, he's in the half track. He's blocking the road. And Hans killed Fritz. So just one of those stories in COH2. Church finally burned down and looks like a uh, rude man is pushing up north. He has some AT um, equipped uh, conscripts, so not too bad. Moving on up, she should be, able, should be able to push back the Germans in the north. Do they even have any front line? They, okay, they're finally getting a Panzergrader squad. We have Hoshi going assault support doctrine. The, uh, the cargo truck is still pretty damn good. Like, and I think the only thing they really did with this is kind of boost the artillery field officer, make it a little bit better, which is good, because it kind of sucked. But overall, yeah, I am very happy they did that. Although I do like how they changed the picture for this, but then they kind of didn't, because you look on here, it's the same cargo truck picture, but here it's like, oh, it's different. It's not. It's different. It's not. But yeah, it helps getting all those extra supplies so you can kind of use a lot of the special abilities like strafing run and fragmentation bomb you can constantly call that in it's gonna hurt I w okay this flag emplacement i now love i used to only use it on well so uh face off at rostov because of the um water 
but now I just, I love it. It's, it's great. It's, it can actually hold back infantry. It suppresses infantry. It's like that was a, what it's supposed to freaking do. Anyway, MG bunker with an MG going here. AT firing on the half track along with uh, armor crystal grounds from the MG, oh, the Vickers. AT grenade damages the engine. If they can get sight, AT gun uh, could kill it. MG, now three stars, 15 kills. Damn, doing a it's doing work. You know, he only had to sacrifice three MGs to actually get one MG that became good. So good for him. Half track moving on up. Looks like trying to push them back. Not a bad idea to reinforce your guys. I'm assuming, or, and or, oh, damn it. I thought he was going to escape. And he does one last bump. You know, at least he tried, man. At least he tried. Half track rolling on up, trying to push on through. Panzer Idea Squad does not have the Panzer Shrek, so the half track should be okay. Armor piercing grounds is something you would have to worry about. Looks like up north we have a engineer squad that should... I don't know how the fuck that's in range. It should be out, but whatever. Additional squads moving on up. You could probably throw a multi cocktail if you want to. AT, AT gun opening fire on this guy. If you could rush on up, you could probably throw a multi cocktail. Just, just point that out. Unfortunately, it looks like the allies are being pushed back. Germans are pushing pretty damn well. And I'm assuming they're going to actually take this spot. British infantry, though, holding the line the best way they can, although we have a fire grenade going down, which should push them back as they're all grouped up. All right, missing the grenade for the most part, and British slowly pushing them back. So, nice. Half-track rolling up, trying to burn back the infantry. We'll see if that helps. Or they can just run away. That's cool, just a uh, drive-by sort. They do have a mortar, a heavy mortar, the 120, which means... Kid Fisto with Soviet Shock Army. Okay, very nice. You get Shock Troops good close range. The heavy Mortar, good long range, both against infantry. Heavy Artillery with the Howitzer and the Starfix Strike, which is pretty damn well. So overall, Allies have a lot of artillery, where the Axis, well, have a lot of emplacements. We literally have Fortification Doctrine. We have Vesting Armor. We have... So those are two more Fortification, which natively are... T the, if you have a very artillery focused allied group what the fuck is this Stuka doing it's like guys i know how to get my Stuka. yeah i can't even say what the fuck he was doing I, I i don't even know he literally just charged it head on to the enemy so yeah that really would have you know kind of helped like break up their line here if a Stuka came down but no he charged it i'm assuming he tried was trying to get a kill with the mg maybe I, I, I just don't know. Anyway, Centaur now moving on up to push back infantry. So that's a positive. They have no AT. None to speak of in this region. So, unless you're doing a lot of armor piercing rounds from like five MGs to hold that thing back, you're not going to be able to hold that Centaur back. Although, you know, it's going to be a valiant attempt. God damn, Centaur is just going to bust through this line and just keep murdering everyone. Nice idea, by the way, breaking down the walls. You can easily roll them up where they have to keep coming through that small, narrow pathway. Conscripts lying in wait, holding, hoping the Centaur will clear the way for them. I'm assuming the Germans will probably bring up AT, but right now, things are not looking good. They're holding back the infantry just fine, although I do love how the Conscripts are still pushing on up. But, yeah, this is a big blunder for the Germans not to have any AT in this region. <laughs> Oh, good. Now we got Panzer Grenadiers, but that's a little too, a little too late. As two MGs are dead, you have one bunker remaining, which will kind of hold the hill, and an additional MG, so you still have something. The problem is the Centaur is good against infantry, so it's going to murder these Panzer Grenadiers pretty damn quickly if they, you know, stay within range. AT gun now moving on up to take out this thing. They do have another MG, which they, I think, sacrificed the guy to grab. Right. Up north, we have Rudemen constantly uh, looks like being pushed back by the Volk squads all equipped with this. Why the fuck did you run? I don't know, but all right, cool. You ran away. Great job. Down south, we have a big battle with, uh, oh, Two-Tone Rebel. Um, smoke raid operation. Okay, cool. That actually kind of helped smoke them so they could be seen. Commandos coming in the side. They could throw a light gammon bomb at that. It Or they could throw it at the, uh, the MG. Oh, nice job. They killed the MG. Now they just have to kill that uh, flag emplacement, which is, by the way, now a bitch to kill. The uh, the Vickers machine gun will do something against it and will actually do a, a decent amount because it does have light arm piercing rounds. But that being said, as you can see, it's just not doing enough, and the flat emplacement will probably hold it, hold this point for a little, a little longer. 
I do expect them to, to, to kind of debuff this a little bit, because maybe it's a little too overpowered for how... Either that or make it cost more. Uh, it's one of the two options. Or maybe make the suppression not as quick. But anyway, I, it is really damn good right now, where it's just like, hmm, I think they're going to change this. Right now, though, Germans are winning. They have majority of the points, and the Allies are currently down. That's not saying they're going to be down and out, but they are down. Finally, pretend we're for getting a shot on the Centaur, but oh boy, oh boy, are there a lot of... Oh my god, Kid Fisto's rolling up, and with his pack of Terminators, are probably going to murder everything in his way. There is an MG over here. If they drop smoke, though, that blob should be fine. I love how even suppressed, they're still mass They're destroying. And this is where infiltration grenades work best against large blobs. Conscript's still doing damn well for what they've uh, had to fight. We have some type of strike coming in. Hold on, let's uh, double check. Oh, strafing support. Plane hits the building, because why the fuck not? I'm assuming got shot down by the Centaur. Hold on. 17 kills. Yeah, one vehicle. All right. Close range Katusha manages to pretty much blow up any chance that those Vogue squads had at uh, just advancing. Panzer for coming in, trying to... I love how it brought down the building. There's still fire in the sky. Hey. They managed to push up AT gun. Managed to at least hold the line, make sure AT... Well, it, make sure the Centaur is covered in case they move up an armor. I'm assuming the Axes, if they have the Panzerwerfer, they probably have some armor, right? I've not seen any, like, armored tanks other than the Loops. We have the trucks down, which actually really good spots. I kind of like how it's hanging behind the building. But right now, no armor, which is kind of astounding, honestly. I am worried now because the Allies, oh boy, do they have armor. And yeah, they're going to start using it. And while, don't be wrong, you have a lot, the Germans have been doing a decent job at AT, like up north they did really well, but in mid they're been kind of falling a little flat. Mattress now opening fire. Without armor to really push, I just see the, yeah. I see the Germans slowly being pushed back just because they can't counter a lot of this armor. And they, the, the infantry is fine if you can, for pinning and kind of assisting taking down armor, but really, what you need to fight a tank is another tank. I mean, that being said, I literally had a game that I did. Unfortunately, the capture broke, which sucks, but had a guy that had like four Panzer, four or five Panzer Grandier squads, and he was just one-shotting allied tank destroyers. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, they have nothing to kill you right now. And he just, he just kept going, and he just kept murdering all of them. It was astounding. So unless they're all tank destroyers, your ally, allies or Axis forces with a Panzer Shrek or Bazooka or something like that can have some issues against just, you know, a Cromwell or a Panzer IV or a T-34 or something along those lines. Meanwhile, let's double check population, shall we? We have 72, 47, so yeah, a lower, up, I'm sorry, lower, upper 50s average, while the Germans, oh boy, Heimrich, what have, what have you done? What have you done? You sacrificed your Stuka, and I'm sorry, what's your rank again? I want to make sure. Okay, you're three-star. I just want to make sure I got that three-star guy over here. Definitely playing like a three-star player should. Um, yeah, he's... I believe he is the one who... Maybe... Maybe it was Wookie. I think it was Heimrich. I'm gonna say it was Heimrich. Because I want it to be Heimrich. So, anyway. He got destroyed. And, uh, yeah. He is trying to make an offensive against a Cromwell. Oh, they... You placed a demo? Oh, you cheeky bastard. I, I think they can detect the demo from actually... Yeah, they can detect the, where the demo is from a certain distance. Unfortunately, what I actually kind of recommend you do with this is actually place it like here. Or like behind the buildings so when they jump in, you can actually then detonate. How the fuck did you get near that? You can see it. What, did you think it was a grenade? Not a grenade. A goddamn MG you can pick up? Puma advancing. And I guess this could work? If they could get range and open fire with the Cromwell with the Puma, I mean, maybe. I still think the Puma's gonna die. I'm, I'm still pointing that out. Puma going in for the kill. Missing the shot. Yeah, he can't take that many shots from the Cromwell. Now Cromwell's like, wait, can I just kill this thing? It's getting sight from the Royal Engineers, even though the smoke kind of blocked its view. Barely misses the shot. 
and uh, Puma manages to get away. Yeah, Puma's good for support, not so good for frontline combat. Meanwhile, the allies continue to use their advantage of better armor to advance. Although the Axis are like, fuck that, we're getting a pack 43, and I don't blame them, because at least that's stopping the allies up north. Meanwhile, we have a T-34 going up way north to push back an MG and allow uh, Rudman to advance and take over a large amount of the territory. So good for him. I'm going to make the assumption that he's, he will take this territory and he will do a damn fine job at taking said territory. Nice artillery strike. Managed to kill that guy on a retreat. Definitely gets veterancy for that. Very nice job. But overall, it's like... Okay, now you got Panther. You got Command Tank. All right. So they're actually getting some armor. This guy's going Puma heavy because... Anyway, um, we... <laughs> I, I have no good answer for that. Now here's the question. What's better, Volk Squads or Conscripts? Unfortunately, Volk Squads, still. But that being said, they did light the guys on fire before dying, so at least they did something. But yeah, if, if you're gonna be... If, if you're in that scenario, it's, prob it's probably just better to retreat. At least West brought out a Firefly as well to counteract German armor, so at least the Allies are prepared for German counterattack with their armor. Looks like we have a strafing run. Yep, there it goes. Expect the plane to be shot down very soon because of the Centaur. Unless the Centaur is busy fighting infantry. Hold on. Yeah, it's busy fighting infantry, so it can't shoot down the plane, which sucks. Germans being hit by Katusha fire, and I'm assuming the artillery is still a key factor. But again, he's versing group men that has the infantry designed to fight armor. Although, nice plane hit, straight uh, hitting the infantry before they can throw the AT grenade. AT gun with opening fire. The double pack could move up. Now, it's just with the T-34. It is a T-34, but still, neutralizing it quickly would definitely help. T-34 rolling on up. Double pack. Oh, gets a nice couple shots in. Big battle down in mid, although artillery's not focusing. I re- Come on, just one shot right here. Come on, just one. Give me- uh, I'll leave. Just give me one shot right here. That's all I want. Just- Just- Alright, you got all here. Like, now here. Just one shot right there. Come on. Dude, you're- You're really pissing me off. One shot right there with the artillery. Come on. And we don't get it. Oh, my God. I wanted those engineers to die. Is that is that such a bad thing? Is that such a bad thing? Anyway, Firefly getting a hit, but the infantry managed to push that thing back on the Centaur, which, by the way, now has 37 kills. So, bravo to said Centaur for being a badass. Katusha now opening fire on the bunker, neutralizing that, stopping pretty much all MGs in this region. We have a still pack 43 and a half-dead bunker, or pretty much almost dead bunker, holding that sector. But yeah, very nice job with this Centaur moving on up. Pumas looks like they see pushing back, and we have a Panzerwerfer shot, I'm assuming trying to hit this. Let's see. Yeah, they tried to kill the uh, Firefly, and man, I don't know why, but the anti-infantry rockets just did nothing to armor. It's astounding. I, I just don't get it. Meanwhile, I'm assuming... Wow, this guy lost his Cromwell. The Pumas actually may have done something good. Again, just multiple... Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. If they if they hit the unit while it's weakened and had infantry support, of course they could kill it. But rushing in there with one, not the best idea. And now we have King Tiger. But the problem with that King is the Firefly. Oh, now the SU-85 as well. Yeah, the, well, and the Firefly is still back there. Mattress opening fire. I'm assuming they're going to hit this area. Yep, there we go. So that remove the bunker, I'm assuming, will die. How is the bunker not dead? Wow, that bunker is so lucky. The support gun's probably gonna die before the bunker. Wow, support gun dies before the bunker. I don't know how that bunker's still alive. There we go. The engineer squad died. And bunker's still somehow remaining. The rockets hit everything but the target, so, you know. Nice job. Volk squad's moving on in. Say so we do have a mine there, I'm assuming, placed by the British. Which, it'll be incredible if the Germans hit it. Yep, there we go. Serve a big strike coming in. Nice flyby. King a nice shot on that centaur and kind of the hill area, so they didn't do as much. King Tiger now at a disadvantage, but though covered by the pack 43, so I'm assuming they should be relatively fine. Katusha rockets hang this overall area. King Tiger now being charged by a bunch of conscripts. Serve a big strike coming in. Oh, getting some nice hits. 
Throwing Strike hitting all this infantry and the armor. That looked amazing. Get yeah, another awesome flyby. There we go. That was cool. Soviet Air Force letting the Germans have it. Throwing a bunch of AT grenades. The command tanks are giving it a defensive bonus, which is helping. Rockets firing, but the Pack 43 kills it. And alas, pretty much, yeah, King Tiger dies, Firefly dies. It, just just everyone. Just everyone loses something major in this at this point. Nice job. Just 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 nice job all around. Meanwhile, S-85 pulling back. We have a couple. We have Firefly and the Centaur now up to 39 kills. Doing a damn good job. So middle, I think the Germans lost it more so than the Allies. Because the Allies lost one that King Tiger is worth a damn lot. And they also lost all the support guns, the bunker, etc. So I'm assuming the Allies will lock it down. Meanwhile, I'll give this guy credit down south. As weird as he's been, and I'm assuming he's placing his howitzer to assist his Allies more so than to help which, by the way, should probably be placed up here, because, by God, it's not like they're going to... Being back here or being over here is going to be much of a difference. Anyway, I don't think he's going to use artillery in this sector. I'm assuming he's going to use it to help out his allies up here. Uh, he's not moving it, though, so I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, he's actually doing a damn good job of holding mid. I don't think he'll survive a Firefly and all the infantry, but, hell, I mean, we'll see. Rudman advancing north and using artillery to hit the pack and MG, respectively. And I love how they made that the artillery cheaper. Looks like we have double panthers that, unfortunately, did take quite a bit of damage. What do you have up here? You have a Katusha. And you still have the Howitzer, which could maybe hit this region. No, it's not. Oh, it's, it can't go that far up. Now, I do, I'll admit, I will, I will say this. Um... Hoshi, nice job placing your, like, everything here. Because, again, that's nice to heal infantry and kind of heal your units. Nice job, Panzer Grenadiers, knocking out the ET gun to keep your Panther alive. Which, by the way, bounced off the side. So, I'm very, actually, I'm actually kind of shocked it did not die. Meanwhile, in mid, we have a bunch of tank destroyers lying in wait for us. Any more armor to come through. Which, with this huge open ground, any armor that comes through on the German side will probably die. Let's see, we do have this point being taken by some British infantry, which is also has minesweepers. Good idea in case the enemy decides to lay a trap, which, oh boy, they would like, I, I bet they would do. Puma's falling back. Looks like we have another uh, strafing run up north to kind of suppress the Soviet infantry. Those guys are moving on up. Oh shit, I just hit the wrong button, didn't I? Yep, there it goes. Gonna, I'm gonna get lag, I know it. I know it. Once you click that button, you start getting some more lag. <laughs> Anyway, British infantry upgrade with friends, and I'm assuming maybe a Piot in there, or maybe just all Brens. Panzerwerfer shot coming in at infantry between the blob of the Soviet and the blob of the British, hitting no blob entirely. More MGs, because I guess that's the thing the Germans really like in this game, which is a bunch of goddamn MGs holding them back. Panzer for a uh, command tank, kind of helping boost these guys, actually help them. Help them out against the stronger infantry. Again, they don't have the extra man, but goddamn Brens are very powerful. So if they can kind of hold long range, I would Brens have it. But if they close the gap, the bulk squads have it. But that being said, close range Katusha looks like going to destroy those guys. And the Brens have it. Along with the Centaur, which... Oh, no, you lost it. No, you lost the Centaur. No. Damn it. God damn it. I was actually rooting for them. Kind of like I was rooting for the Browns to get that 0 and 16 score. Oh boy, yeah, that came out today. I, I feel bad if, for a Browns fan. It's just like, man, you want them to do well, but oh boy, it's like, at least they got a they got a record, just not the record they wanted. Anyway, down south, the Pumas are going in on the Firefly. Might be able to get a kill. Get the kill on the Firefly. Very nice job. Puma now has to get out alive. AT gun repositioning. Looks like this this thing might be able to. Why are you moving the half? This makes me believe that you do want to sacrifice your armor. Because you're moving up a half track up to this. It's not going to shoot. A guy inside is not going to pull out an assault rifle and start opening fire on them. As amazing as that would be, that's simply not going to be the case. This guy, I love how this guy also has a giant pan panther force. Sorry, going up north. Oshi, I guess a bunch of conscripts with AT rifles. Man, it's working great. 
because again, tank hunters, conscripts do pretty damn well against panthers. And this is where a Brumbar, which could do a lot more damage, would, you know, probably be better. Just, uh, point that out. Just, uh... Oh, they're probably gonna kill it. Oh, it's so close. A bunch of AT grenades being thrown. Again, they with the tank hunters, they can throw, like, one AT grenade per person as a special. That's insanely powerful, and, yeah, does a damn good job at hurting armored units. And kind of crippling them if you, again, combine that with your normal AT. So, let's see that right now. A decent defense over here. At least they have enough MGs that the allies are like, man, we just have to keep breaking their lines and slowly pushing forward. But right now, the allies do a majority of the stars, which is helping them right now kind of keep themselves from losing, as, as you can see there. Pretty damn far from uh, 500 points. It's like, man, oh man, what a what a hill to to fall off of. But man, I, when you're about to go into that lake with all the crocodiles, you manage to hold on and uh, keep yourself from going in. So looks like the alley should be relatively fine. I'm assuming with their army composition, how many men compared to the axes, that they should be okay for this game. We shall see. Right now, Germans are actually making some decent head... Well, I say that until the Katusha comes in and just wrecks these poor Panzergrandiers. Which, by the way... Nopi still has the two-star. I'm, I'm just noticing the howitzer two-stars over here. Very surprised you that has not died. Strafing gun now coming in. And will probably be once again shot down by the scent. Oh, yep, there it goes. Right over there. As long as the centaurs are in the fight, it'll pretty much shoot down a plane on this spot. Allies retaking the north or in this that sector. He can probably send his Volk squads up to clear it. Also, what's with the artillery? You have d you have double artillery firing where? Oh, okay, in this sector. I mean, that's okay, I guess. You're definitely you're definitely helping. Nice try to take out the mattress, but I don't think it's gonna work. But I don't know. Maybe instead of that, having like a. Like a pack 43 like right here by the brush or like kind of up, more up it looks like he kind of healed this one or did something with it to get back up and running so that's good he might have had to place another i don't think he placed another i think he just healed it but i could be wrong okay but i think the germans are now just like overwhelming artillery to break up the allies man nice pack 43 shot even though that was not in range um now they just need to reman that I love how they're trying to shoot the dead carcass. Like, okay, don't don't allow, allow them to have that. MG uh, pushing back the conscripts once again. Oh boy, we still have the Panthers up here. We get now more Panthers. This guy pretty much just has all conscripts. Like that's all he has, and they're all three vet three, and they all have you know specialization to kill armor. So what are you gonna have? To, what are you gonna have them fight? Armor. Stormwing Strike coming in to push back the OKW in the south. We have a Puma that's retreating. Now, I, you have all three buildings, correct? Yes, sir. So instead of, I don't know, getting one of those artillery pieces, why didn't you get King Tiger? Just, just, uh, just want to point out. But I did have enough fuel. That's why you got yourself another Puma? Okay, fair point. Right now, anyway, I still think you should go with the king because right now he has more enough infantry down here that the panther won't be as effective. It seems like actually is focusing all the artillery down here. It seems to be working damn well. So doesn't look like uh, two tone has a great defense. Though he still has a ton of infantry. I, I just think most of it's yeah, most of it's busy with over here. Just like okay, we'll grab the star up in the in the castle. That's cool. I'm assuming you also placed yeah, you did. You placed mines. You cheeky devil. That's awesome. So that means when they come through the gate, yeah, they're going to have some issues. I also love the conscripts moving in. Like, yeah, well, what would the Terminator show up? They'll never take the castle with these guys, and I don't blame them. They won't. Germans making a desperate last-ditch assault to take some stars, but alas, it's not working. They're losing a lot of points right now. They're even losing this one. And once again, those Panthers can't do much. They're just being shredded by these AT guns. Or, it, sorry, AT rifles is probably the better term. Also, we now have artillery hitting the Panther, or at least that general area. That's the shot I was waiting for. 
hit the Panther and the Engineer Squads, which helps. Hit the... Hit, hits a, another Pioneer Squad and hits the Panther again. Just a little bit more damage. AT got now rolling on up because, you know, just, just throwing salt in the wound. Oh my god, artillery. <laughs> Come on, one more shot. There it goes. And yeah, that's why you don't get an army of Panthers to fight an army of conscripts with AT guns. Just, just pointing it out there. Maybe not a good idea. Maybe not a good idea. Right now, Germans are pretty much in a fallback point across the line. The best chance they have is down south, and this guy doesn't have enough infantry to adv advance. Nice AT gun, by the way, hitting, him, hitting the Puma. Which is still hitting. He has another AT gun moving up. And this Panther Knight doesn't even have an MG. So it's not going to really do much. It's going to be slowly pushed back. Commando's like, we'll take out the Pack 43 Then send in the armor. Unfortunately, they failed. But hey, it was nice of them. Pan's Warfare. Now, uh, Vet 2 with only 8 kills. Did you kill a vehicle? Is that why you got so much? No? Alright. Maybe just constantly hitting, like, armor and stuff like that. Just doesn't kill the armor, but at least gets the damage to get a boost. So, not bad. Double pack up north. So they're still holding on to a single point, which they may lose from these conscripts. T-34 just like, okay, I'll roll on up. Don't mind me. He's trying to kill the, uh, I love the flamethrower. It's like, yeah, we have AT, gun we have AT rifles and a flamethrower. It's GG, my dudes. And yeah, that's game. Panther trying up here. I actually think we'll probably be hit by the mine. It, okay, that that's hilarious. But yeah, uh, so what did Germans do? The German strategy in the beginning of the MGs was interesting. I will say it kind of sort of worked. Uh, and it eventually it did allow them to control majority of the map. So I guess that strategy did help out. The Allies went heavy artillery to kind of counteract that and slowly push the Germans back. I do feel like, um, oh boy, down set, like the Stuka dying and all that stuff was just a bunch of dumb mistakes that the Germans did, which didn't help them out in the long run. Again, you needed that artillery to kind of counteract theirs. I'm actually surprised you didn't kind of, I know you guys don't have recon and that sucks, but like if you had the Jaeger Light Infantry recon, just like go back here and kind of scout these things out, like deploying the buildings, kind of scout these out, call them fragmentation bombs and whatnot to kill the artillery, you guys would have done a far better job at fighting this uh, Soviet artillery. I mean, your German variants were fine and did a lot of damage. I'm not de denouncing that. I'm just saying like overall the Allies did way better in artillery than you. They also got armor faster than the Germans, which helped counteract and allow them to take a majority of the points. Um, the only point where I saw the that not work out was the middle was an even ground. The north and south is where difference, and that's because up north you had the enemy go, or the, the Allies go a lot of AT rifles. The Panther Force, he had three Panthers, just got destroyed because they, they couldn't do anything. They can't do as much damage. Where down south, what do you have? I mean, like, you have this guy who kept deploying Pumas and eventually a Panther. His fighting force kept being split between fighting for the castle and fighting down here, and he just couldn't hold either. He did a decent job in the beginning, but really, I'm going to point it out that Two-Tone didn't really focus down here at all. He was kind of helping mid, and then he's like, okay, now I'll go down south. So he wasn't really fighting that big of a front. I feel like your artillery was okay, but I don't know. Could have been positioned better, but... That's just some of the things on this game. Like, yeah. Overall, it was still a fun, exciting game, and I'm glad I saw it. Nice Katusha shots, by the way. And last but not least, Wes, great job with your Centaur. Hold on, let's double check damage. We have Rude Man with most damage. Again, just put in perspective how much damage he had. 19,000 damage with con with his conscripts, 23 kills. 30 kills. Wait, how does it. 32 okay 32 kills with the howitzer means two of them probably was either a building and or a vehicle so nice job on that regard let's uh yeah 19,000 for conscripts which kind of shows just how freaking powerful these things are versus the panthers and how many squads he was able to kill also he never lost one i just want to point that out i didn't think he did but yeah he didn't lose a squad he lost 234 so he, he did fulfill the soviet prophecy in that regard but yeah Double check overview again. Uh, most kills goes to Kit Fisto. And again, he had the Terminators. Like, goddamn. His, uh, his conscript squads were 
damn good at killing infantry, so nice job on that regard. Um, Two-tone, I, I just want to quickly check you out. I'm not going through everyone, but I kind of do. Wow, okay, so we did about 5,900 with the AT gun. I was kind of expecting the Os no, Oswin, God damn it, the Cromwell to be here. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the... Am I crazy? Is it here? I think I'm crazy. Wasn't there a... Wait, Wes? Oh, okay, yeah, it was Wes, not Two-Tone. God damn it. I'm thinking of the wrong person. There we go, the centaur. I'm like, I had a brain fart there, so I'm like, where's the centaur? Anyway, 68 kills with it. Damn good job. He did lose one, but he had two overall. Like, that's pretty damn astounding. 93,000 damage. So, overall, very good job with that damn thing. Uh, German side, yeah, Wookie. Uh, whew. Um, yeah, you... I mean... I feel like the OKW both kind of dropped the ball a little bit. But Heimerich did a little better down south, but still lost quite a bit. He didn't get as many kills. Wookie got more kills and most damage goes to 18. But I, I, I find it funny that Hoshi had the more Panthers, like more fighting force. And yeah, he still lost it. Um, let me double check to see what 18 had most damage in. Pack. Yep, Pack 43 makes sense. He was just shredding the allied armor pretty quickly with that thing. So nice job in that regard. But overall, yeah, that's game. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like it and subscribe. See more content on Grayshot Productions. By the way, this has been Grayshot17, and I'll see you next time. Before this video ends, I want to give a special shout out to my Patreon supporters like Ace, Leo, Tim, Sean, Sejones, and Nick. Thank you guys so much for your awesome support, and I'll see you next time, guys.